Oh my god, I'm ugly crying on YouTube. <laughs> you my everything, you all I ever wanted. We could do it real big, bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything, other whole thing never on it. I want this for. Saturday. I finally have an opportunity to sit down and get this weight loss update for you guys and it couldn't have came at a better time because I had a weigh-in. I do weekly weigh-ins. I normally weigh in on Sundays but this week since tomorrow me and baby are having like a full cheat day like we're doing breakfast and we're doing dinner. I decided to go ahead and weigh myself today to allow myself to have my whole cheat day tomorrow um, and I was shocked. You saw in the previous clip your girl is too 1.4 which means I have lost 96 pounds like when I say that out loud y'all I can't believe it like I feel the difference in my body I see the difference in my body and I'm going to talk more about that in this video um but I am so proud of myself it took me so long to actually record this video because I'm super emotional right now that's one thing I will say about me losing weight is I cry a lot more I don't know if it has anything to do with it but I think I'm just like more open emotionally to like handling different types of emotions especially since I don't binge eat or run to food anymore to like hide emotions so now sis if I feel it I cry <laughs> so I said that to say disclaimer I may cry in this video if I do it is totally okay they are tears of joy I'm not upset I'm not going through nothing I'm just happy and I'm proud sis that's all it is but I know I beat into you guys' head what I've done on this journey it's been 14 months and counting I'm not at my number goal yet but your girl is four pounds away four pounds away from my number goal and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do after that a little bit later in the video. But if you're new and you haven't had an opportunity to look at any of my other weight loss videos which are all linked in the description box below I show you detail for detail what I do I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I've done over the last 14 months to lose 96 pounds. I use intermediate fasting. I do the 16-8 method. So I fast for 16 hours and I eat for eight hours. And my eight hour window is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I also do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with a splash of water every single morning, even on cheat days, every single day, seven days a week. I do not miss a day doing apple cider vinegar. I also drink a gallon of water here lately. It's been a little more than a gallon, like a cup over a gallon. So about 152 ounces that I do every single day. Now on my cheat day, Days on Sunday I don't quite get a gallon in um, but I do at least a hundred ounces of water and lastly I am a calorie counter I do not do keto I'm not vegan I don't do any kind of diet pills I have not had surgery I literally count my calories and the app that I use to help me is my fitness pal and I love that app because it one keeps track of my calories and also it keeps track of my macronutrients like my carbs my proteins my sugar my sodium so that way I know I'm staying within what I'm supposed to have. So yes guys, that's what I do. On top of a little bit of exercising, now that's one thing I will say, working out is the love-hate relationship with me. So it's not like I just go hard as I can in the gym, but I do want to start going harder in the gym, especially now since I've built my endurance a little more and I can see myself running on the treadmill. I can do the elliptical longer than I ever have. And even when I go for my walks now, I do hit walking, which means I run until I just can't take it anymore. I walk until I catch my breath. I run until I just can't take it anymore. Like that's what hit. It's just high intensity interval training where you just keep it going. But we can talk more about that later. But pretty much, yes, that's everything that I have done this whole 14 months to lose this weight. I um, did ask you guys to ask me questions on social media, on my Snapchat and Instagram. If you're not following me, please do. Because a lot of times when I'm thinking of video ideas and stuff like that, I go there to try to get some ideas and stuff for you guys. But, but yes, I got a couple of questions that I will be answering for you guys in this video at the end. 
in but i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this update video because i don't want it to be super long you guys already know my story now i've told you again what i do so let's just go over some updates since losing 96 pounds so first things first, I had my first ever doctor's appointment since losing the weight. Now, when I went to the doctor's office, I wasn't as small as I am now. I was actually weighing in at 211.2, um, which is so crazy because my doctor was so in shock, y'all. When she walked in the room, she was like, do 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 up. Uh, uh, and I was like, Dr. Kim, it's me. <laughs> she was like, oh my God. And it's so crazy because when I had my gallbladder surgery in September of 2017, she told me then that I probably should think about losing about 30 pounds because of course I was morbidly obese. <laughs> Look, I put that in air quotes. Um, yeah, so she just told me I need to be thinking about losing weight. And at that time, I did take what she said seriously because I knew I needed to. But if y'all know my story, when it wasn't until I stepped on that scale January the 2nd and I saw 297 is what really opened my eyes and I was like oh no we got to make a change and we got to make it right now so she was super excited to see me and I went in to see her for a physical so I got all my blood work done and we did like all the testing that you get during a physical and I'm happy to report that your girl is no longer pre-diabetic yes since I was pre-diabetic on my way to being a diabetic um and I'm no longer pre-diabetic I am way out of the range i do not have high blood pressure which i did have high blood pressure at first but she was telling me i was headed that way with you know my weight being as high as it was and for my age so i don't have high blood pressure my actual blood pressure when she took it was amazing like it was normal um because when i first even went to the doctor when i was as big as i was my blood pressure was so high she was so worried that she made me like take my blood pressure every day and send her pictures just to see what it was but my blood pressure was normal and lastly all my other labs came back normal like everything is good now during this appointment we did talk about my iron which was really really low but I've always had a low iron because I have a hereditary blood disorder it's not nothing really serious it's just that my body doesn't have whatever it needs to break down iron so it's like I really don't have it I'm always cold and stuff like that so I actually do have an appointment with her in a couple weeks to go back and see if my iron has increased because she told me to add more green leafy vegetables in so if you follow me on instagram and even on here when i did my um how to drink a gallon of water in a day i actually showed you guys how to make my green smoothie so i do that green smoothie every single day just to get my green leafy leafy vegetables in because since i just can't eat them i can't eat them but i do i have started eating a lot of greens green beans lettuce stuff like that um and then i also do that smoothie so hopefully my iron has increased when i go back and and my cholesterol is still high um and i mentioned this again in that video when i was at my biggest my cholesterol was 305 which is way higher than it should be according to my doctor i need to be at a 100 and now at the weight that i well at the weight that i was when i went to the doctor's appointment my cholesterol was 141 which was still 41 points higher than where it needs to be but coming down from 305 sis that was a blessing because i know i'm steady steady losing weight so i know it's going to decrease again so i'm just so happy for that um but those both of those things are just stuff that runs in the family my mom has low iron my dad has high cholesterol it's like crazy um so yeah that's just stuff from the heart of people that i got um and also my bmi when i was at my heaviest my bmi was a 54 your girl's bmi right now is a 31 so i have came all the way down and granted i am not where i need to be but i'm not where i started and that is the main thing that i want you guys to know that is what motivates me that is what keeps me going to know that yes i may not be at the goal that i set for myself just yet but i'm not where i was 14 months ago when i first started on this journey y'all i was a food addict oh my god <laughs> i feel the tears coming um i was a food addict and i used food to help with every emotion whether i was happy whether i was sad whether i was you know got a promotion at work or celebrating with friends me and, me and baby got together and i found out she can cook and i started making her cook every day like hearty meals not like little stuff i'm talking about red beans and rice like y'all saw it y'all followed me doing vlogmas y'all saw everything that we ate y'all saw all the places we went out to eat and all that stuff and how i would eat and how much i would eat so yeah it's like 
food food addiction is real and i'm not going to go into it because i'm not a medical doctor or professional or anything like that but all i want to say is if you've never been through it you can't speak on it Food addiction is real. It's something that you we have to deal with daily. Even me, 14 months into my journey, I still have times where I catch myself saying, oh, if I could just have a cheeseburger, everything would be okay. When it won't, whether I eat those calories or not, whatever is going on in my life, it's going to happen regardless. So I just need to learn to deal more with my emotions and not run to food. I'm super excited with the results that I got from the doctor. And I'm just so excited to continue my journey and continue to see those numbers go down. And I'm so excited to just like get to my goal. To look back at myself and say, Crystal, you did it. That's what I'm doing now. Like I say, I celebrate every pound that I lose. If I do lose one pound a week i still celebrate that i take none of this for granted because like i said i could still be at 297.4 but your girl is at 201.4 oh my god do you guys know that i will be in wonderland within the next couple of weeks like that's how serious this is like i do not know how i'm going to react when i see a one something a 190 something on that scale like I honestly don't know. I cried this morning when I saw 201. So I know I'm a hard down cry when I see that 190 something on the scale. But I just want to tell you guys that you can do it. Don't let nobody downplay you. Don't let, let nobody tell you you don't need to lose weight. Don't let nobody tell you. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. And don't let nobody take anything from you on this journey. This journey is hard. It's hard to make decisions. Like, I was talking to baby the other day, and I told her, I said, it's so crazy how I'm grown. I have a car. I have a job. I have money. I can drive up to any drive through restaurant that I want, buy anything on the menu that I want, and can't nobody say nothing about it because I'm grown and I have my own money. But this journey has taught me that I don't have to run and do that. Like, it has taught me to be strong. It has taught me to deal with my emotions. It has taught me that it's okay to struggle. It has taught me that it's okay to you know wake up and not have a good day that's another thing that i want to tell you guys like everybody is so quick to be like i brought some tissue <laughs> i told y'all i'll be tore up everybody always say crystal you make this look easy and for one i'm so happy that i can make this look easy because if i can make it look easy then that's showing you that it can be done but this is not easy by far it is hard to have people go against you every single day because you want to better yourself it's hard to have people tell you to like watch you that's one thing i will say since starting this journey and like now with the results showing because when i first started 14 months ago um people like took me serious but again like i said in many of my other videos because i've been on a journey for so many years i think people just kind of you know shook me off like oh she's on another diet but once they start start to see that like i was truly motivated and this was like really what i wanted to do and they started to see the results it's like oh my god sis you make this look so easy and it's like nah bro i struggle every day like that's one thing that i've told everybody around me and that is just because i'm on my journey i don't ever want you guys to feel like you know i'm condemning you for eating what you want to eat so i you know tell everybody eat what you want to eat if you're not on a weight loss journey or whatever then do you just because i'm on the journey doesn't mean you have to like tailor yourself to me and i told you guys that before like even if i'm detoxing i'm on a water fast or anything like that i make it known that people don't have to tiptoe around me but it's hard y'all it's a struggle where i work they order food every single day it's a struggle me going in there seeing donuts and chick-fil-a and dickies and uh el pollo loco and chipotle and not eating that it's a struggle you know to meal prep two and three hours on sundays when i know i'm tired or i know i'm gonna have a hectic week ahead of me you know that stuff is hard but i do it because one i see results which keeps me motivated constantly and two because i had to i was going into the 300s not playing that game not playing that game at all so yeah when i saw that number on the scale like it motivated the hell out of me 
So now that I already started the crying, let's jump into like my body changes and stuff. The main thing that changed that I'm shocked about is my shoe size. Like I literally have lost a whole shoe size. I was wearing a size nine. I'm in a size eight now. And men, I can wear a seven. Um, and I can even wear a seven in youth, depending on like the shoe and stuff like that. But yes, I can't believe that. It could just be because I've had wide feet, but now since I lost weight, like my feet are skinnier. So that's probably why I dropped a shoe size. But yes, your girl dropped a whole shoe size. I have dropped a bra size as well. I used to be a 44 double D and the bra that I'm wearing is a 42 double D um but honestly it is kind of like getting a little too big in the cup area so I may be wearing like a 40 double D but I am gonna go and get measured so that way I can get me some really good bras to go but in my sports bras I normally buy a 1x or a 2x depending on the like the bra like if it's a cheapy bra I buy a 2x because I know when I wash it it's gonna do all that stuff but if it's a really nice bra then I buy a 1x because I know that the material is really good and it works in clothes i have went down from a size 22 24 to a size 14 i literally tried on size 14 jeans at rainbow could not believe that your girl fit in them i actually took a picture so i'll show you guys right here um but yes that was our size 14 y'all um the shirt that i have on right now is a large just one l the leggings that i have on are from old navy they are a large one l like it is so weird to me that like i've dropped so many um clothing sizes in like it's amazing like this shirt is actually a crop top um and i've got a little bit more comfortable with my body but honestly not as comfortable as i thought i would be after lo losing 96 pounds and i do want to keep it real with you guys i am not happy with my stomach area because i do have loose skin because i have lost so much now granted it could be worse it could be saggy it could be floppy it could be doing all that it's not doing that but i just i just for 96 pounds, I would have never expected my stomach to like look the way it looked, but I'm happy for it. Like me and baby, she always talked me off the ledge because that's one thing I will say. Like I have nothing against plastic surgery. I have nothing against weight loss surgery. None of that. Like sister, I did this naturally. Yes, I did. But if I had the money or the sources to get weight loss surgery, I probably would have got weight loss surgery a little while ago. Um, But once I realized that, hey, you know what, Crystal, you got to do this and you got to do this for yourself. That that's what you know made me go on this natural journey um and that's the same thing with uh plastic surgery like i have nothing against uh bbls tummy tucks or anything like that i have been researching laser lipo not saying i'm gonna get it i just wanted to look it up and see what it was about only because like i said my stomach area is a little chunky but i just know Crystal needs to just go a little harder. That's like last, 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 last resort. <laughs> I'm just gonna do what I need to do to work out, wear my waist trainer like I'm supposed to, do my ab exercises, do my cardio, lose even more weight to go ahead and tone it up. So it's not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, your girl is not against anything surgery related, but I do want to try everything naturally first. Now, worst case scenario, if I do make it to my, you know, my final number goal and my stomach is still not happy, we never know what we can do from there i just want to be transparent and honest with you guys on that part but as of right now i'm not looking to get any plastic surgeries or anything i'm just gonna go a little harder in the gym to try to tone that area up more body changes too my ring is super big it rolls around it do whatever you want to do um baby is so ready to buy me another one but i keep putting her on hold for the simple fact that i still got more weight to lose so i'm pretty sure my finger size is gonna go down probably a little bit more even just a little half more um so i'm gonna wait until i officially make it to my number goal before we even like upgrade any jewelry and if you guys could ever remember my my famous crystal necklace that i wear and everything this is like literally my favorite necklace i got it from soulfield too um it was a cheap necklace and i've had it now for three years i shower in it sleep in it y'all see this video i mean see this necklace and everything um but yeah it hangs lower now this necklace used to be up here a uh, thumbs up this video if you remember this necklace being right here <laughs> but yes it has even dropped and overall like you know my face is slimmer and i just i feel good i do have jiggly arms but i am also working on that too with in the gym um so i'm gonna update you guys more about like the whole toning process you know later on through this journey but as of right now i am so proud of myself y'all and it's like i can't do anything but shed a tear 
every time I think about it because I did it and like I said, I celebrate every step of this journey because this journey is so hard. So I celebrate every step because I know a lot of people are quick to be like, oh, well, you're not even at your goal yet. And it's like, no, I'm not. But I'm 96 pounds down. Like, that is so crazy to say. And to know that I have four pounds to go to lose 100 pounds on my own. Like, on my own. Like, it's so crazy. I told y'all that I was so super emotional. And I just thank God for like helping me and strengthening my mind and giving me the motivation and giving me the drive to do it because it is hard. And I know I said that so many times in this video, but it is super hard, especially when you have so many people around you that are doctors and nutritionists that always want to tell you what you can and can't do, shouldn't and shouldn't do. But when I was bigger, nobody ever said anything to me. Nobody ever said, oh, Crystal, you may be eating no, you know, too many calories or, oh, Crystal, you know, your stomach looking a little big. None of that. I never heard none of that. But now, 96 pounds down, you want to tell me what I'm supposed to eat and what I'm not supposed to eat. But but I said all that to say, don't let that discourage you, sis. You got this. You can do this. Every day is not going to be a good day. You're going to wake up some days and you're not going to want to eat your meal prep. You're going to wake up some days and you're not going to want to exercise. You're going to wake up some days and you're going to be like, why am I on the weight loss journey? Like, I already got somebody. I look cute when I dress up. Like, you're going to feel that way. It is totally okay to feel that way. But I'm here to tell you, when you do feel that way, keep going harder. Keep going harder harder like that is the best feeling that i can say like it is refreshing oh my god i'm ugly crying on youtube <laughs> it is refreshing to see that scale go down but it's even better when you know that you got the discipline to tell somebody no i don't want a piece of cake or no i don't need to drink a soda or no you know when i go out to eat i'm gonna give me salmon and broccoli i don't have to get this pasta dish you know that's thirteen thousand calories you know stuff like that like it's that part that keeps you going in your journey. I'm going to jump into the questions real quick that I got, but that's like one of the main questions that I remember off the top of my head, and that is how I find my motivation. And you have to find your motivation daily. Like you have to be prepared for what's coming at you. When I get to work every Friday morning, they have donuts in our little common area. And they don't have one or two, honey. They have four and five dozen. They have Chick-fil-A sandwiches now. They start doing pizza and the blankets they got a bunch of stuff and it's like every time i see that and i turn that down that gives me the motivation to keep going that gives me the motivation to be like you know what crystal you doing this like you are no longer a slave to food you use food to live and i don't live to eat you know what i'm saying so it is so crazy, but that's the one question that I really, really remember from everything, and that is just how the hell do I find motivation, and I find my motivation daily. It was something in my journey that lets me know that I'm really disciplined and I'm really determined, because like I said, 14 months ago, I would have had four or five of them donuts, I would have had the Chick-fil-A sandwich, and I would have ate a pig in a blanket. I wouldn't have ate the pig <laughs> because I don't eat pork, um, but I would have ate the bread off of it. That's how serious it was for me. I just found any kind of thing to eat i had candy cookies everything like i had a whole snack drawer at work and it was just super crazy so yes that is pretty much how i stay motivated i, I just look at how far i came and that's what's keeping me going okay now i'm gonna cry most of the video i'm gonna go ahead and get into the questions that i got just so i can ask that and go ahead and wrap the video up because y'all know normally my weight loss update videos be an hour and more but i feel like i don't have to preach it to y'all no more now y'all see it now y'all see it works you and know that's when thing that I had to learn and that is you got to make a believer out of people by actually letting them see it. I could tell you all day long what to do but until you see that what I said works it probably won't stick. Um, So yes I'm not going to beat you guys up about that because y'all already see what I do. So I'm going to jump into these questions. <laughs> so the first question I got is how did you lose most of your weight? Was you doing the water fast for water fasting great job and keep it up and no ma'am i have lost most of my weight because i 
eat right, I work out, I drink water, and I do apple cider vinegar. Um, I do use water fasting as a part of a detox. So whenever I've been off my diet for a week or more, I never water fast if I just had like a Sunday cheat day. It's not that serious. Um, but yeah, if I've had a week or more off my diet, when I come back on my diet, I water fast. And water fasting just helps to detox, get my system cleaned out, and get me jumped back into healthy eating. So that's the reason I do it. You don't have to do water fasting if you um, don't want to. You can actually just restart your journey from wherever you stop. Because most of the weight that you gain off your diet is water weight anyway. Because you got to think about, I don't eat fried foods, breads, pastas, rice, or anything. And then if I have a cheat week, I do eat those things. So my body is picking up that extra water weight from all the extra carbs and sodium that I'm intaking. So yeah, the next week you can drop that weight really quick. And like I said, I just researched water fasting and saw how beneficial it was to the weight loss journey. So I just do that only to detox but i don't use that as my sole purpose for water fast i mean for losing weight because with water fasting you will gain weight back afterwards because your body has to level itself back out so if i do too many too much water fasting it's like i'll be yo-yo and i'll gain lose 10 pounds gain eight pounds so, you know it'll be crazy so no i just actually meal prep and do what i have to do but like i said i do use water fasting to detox all right guys so the next question is what do you specifically do when you are not motivated and i've already answered this i just think about where i came from like a lot of times and if you follow me on instagram you will see that i post side by side pictures and i know a lot of people post for likes i'm not gonna lie you know what i'm saying like you want somebody to see your hard work and like it but i don't post for likes i post those pictures to motivate myself because when i make those collages i see where i came from i see where i started and i see me on that day and i'm like oh if you made it this far then you can go ahead and make it again and then i decide to go ahead and post it on social media because it may be somebody that needed to see that it may be somebody that was like you know what why am i on this journey nothing's working i'm over it. and they just need to see that somebody else out here had that same thought but they still pushing so yes that's what I do so one thing I can say is if me myself is not motivating myself meaning me looking at my before and after then I go and I research uh, weight loss journeys on YouTube I go to Facebook and look in the weight loss groups I do all stuff like that just to keep my mind and just see that I am not the only one doing this and if somebody else is out here doing this then it can be done so I definitely want to be that for you guys like I want you guys to know and see like one of my sis sent me a snapchat the other day i'm about to cry again <laughs> she sent me a snapchat the other day and she just was saying how she saw my growth from you know she's been following me forever and she sees my growth and she sees my happiness and she sees my dedication and it just means so much to me because out of this whole journey yes i know we talk about scales i know we talk about crop tops and sizes and clothes i know we talk about you know all this stuff but ultimately ultimately i want I you guys to see that this is a lifestyle change this is me growing into a new person yes it's a struggle getting used to the new crystal um i'm so shocked every time i try on something y'all like i'll literally be shocked when i was in target i cried so hard in the dressing room when i tried on those size 14s and they fit i cried so hard the store manager came over he was like is everything okay and i was like i'm in a 14 i can wear a size 14 <laughs> and he was like oh my god do i need to get you another size <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm just saying. And then I told him, I was like, I used to wear a 24. I never, you know, this. And so after that, he was like, well, congratulations. And there was some more people in the dressing room and they started clapping. And I started crying harder because I just was like, thank you. Like, you got to celebrate all of your accomplishments to keep yourself going, you know. So it's like, I still find myself crying. <laughs> and I still find myself super duper shocked about everything. But the one thing that I find myself most happiest about is that my relationship with food has improved i no longer use food as a weapon to my body i use it when i want it like tomorrow baby's gonna do me some fresh toast in the morning i haven't had fresh toast in ages and then we're going to do seafood later on so it's like I, 
even on my cheat days, I don't like do fried stuff and go super crazy and stuff like that. You know, I do, but I do allow myself to eat whatever I've craved for the week and you know, stuff like that. So, so yes, through it all, I'm just so happy of how I've grown in this journey. So the next question is, I am tore up y'all. I told y'all I was going to cry. Um, what was your key motivator when you first started and has your motivation changed? I asked because I was doing good October through January, but then I got tired of working out and eating right and gave it to my food addiction. Um, my key motivator was just to get out those 290s. Like it's so crazy y'all that I was my biggest doubter. Like I'm not naive. I know everybody doesn't root for you. Granted, I know that which I have the best supporters in the world. I haven't received any negativity, any hate like you guys are motivating me to motivate you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have that issue. But, but I was my own biggest doubter. I was like, girl, I could probably get to 250, but I don't ever see it myself losing 100 pounds. Like that's super crazy. Um, So yeah, when I started, I just started easy. I just made goals that were reasonable and I made goals that I knew that I could get to. And then when I got to that goal, that motivated me to get to the next goal and the next goal. Um, and that hasn't changed. My motivation is still the same. I can honestly say I had to refocus it because I got to the point where I was a little like, oh my God, is the scale going to move? Because um, from December to like February, um, I was losing weight, but it was like toggling. Like I toggled between 215 and 210 for so many weeks. It was like one week I was 215, then I'd be 213, then I'd be 210, then I'd go back to 214, and then back to 209. I mean 210. Like it was crazy. I was toggling. Um, and so at that point, I was like, wait a minute. I think my body's about to stall out. So deuces, you know, I was about to give up on my journey. But then I realized like, no, when that doesn't work, start researching so i started researching like what break styles what help styles and i realized sometimes your body gets used to what you're doing and what you're eating and you just need to change it up so y'all know i love those veggie pastas and all that stuff but i switched it up so i stopped doing um mostly veggie pastas and start doing mostly greens and stuff like that and boom here i am today 201 so i was able to break through so yes it's like your motivation has to be useless like for the thing that i always say get fit for you whatever your fit is your fit may not be beyonce kim k amber rose it may not be that your fit may be a size 20 it may be a size 18 you don't let nobody tell you what's fit for you but get fit for you so your motivation should be what you want I've always wanted to wear crop tops and cute leggings and all that stuff. So I use it as a motivation. And today your girl got on a crop top, you know, and I'm going to keep it up. So yeah, your motivation has to be you. So I just started realizing that I'm on this journey and I'm just going to use my points to get where I need to be and not worry about anybody else because, because you, you can easily start comparing yourself and start comparing your journey to other people and that would discourage you. So you don't ever want to compare your journey, but you do want to use everybody else's inspiration like if another sis is out here working out eating right drinking water i'm gonna be like you know what she can do it i can do it too i'm not gonna compare what she eat and how much she drink of water and what she working out we're not gonna compare because we're two different people but i will use the fact that she is going through this journey as i and i use that for my motivation the next question i got is did you ever feel like giving up did i sis I always felt like giving up in the beginning, especially when I started intermediate fasting because I was like, I can't eat till 10. I get to work at seven. Everybody's eating breakfast. Everybody's drinking coffee. Everybody's just happy go lucky and I'm sitting here in my stomach growling. But my best friend, water and i have learned that all the time you're not hungry sometimes you just need to drink some water so now it's super super easy but at first i'm not gonna lie i was like i ain't gonna be able to do this intermediate fasting thing i'm gonna need to you know what i'm saying eat me something like soon i get to work um but yeah i just kept it up and now 
half of the time, I don't even realize when 10 come. You know, I eat way after 10. Sometimes I eat at 11. It just depends. But your body does get um, used to it. But did I ever feel like giving up? Yes, I did for many, many days. And another question is, how are you and were you motivated to work out? In the beginning, I'm not going to lie. The video that I did where I lost, where I told you guys how I lost 20 pounds in a month, I was super working out, Crystal. I mean, I was doing Fit Body by Ashley, Cobra Cole Fitness, Leslie Salon. I was in here doing two days, working in the morning and at night. But I ain't going to lie, my motivation for working out kind of went down in the middle part of my journey. And it was because I started focusing a lot more on like just meal prepping and making sure that I'm able to have what I need because I was in an environment at work where there was always food readily available then I come home baby cooking something good it's like I had to get my mind right so when I realized that I just said you know what Crystal let's not worry about the working out part let's just focus on the food part because nutrition is 80% of it and then after that once I got that down to a pack to like where now I'm not tempted you can literally see it in front of me and eat fried chicken and I'm not going to ask you about it I'm going to tell you how good it smells how good it look but I'm not going to ask you for a bite of it and you can finish your whole meal with that now I'm back motivated to work out so this past week on Instagram since it was since it was starting the first of the month, I was like, let me go ahead and let everybody know what my goals for the month is. And that is to make sure that I'm getting my exercise in and doing what I need to do, which is waist training and all that stuff. And I'm happy to report that this first week in April, your girl did it. I waist trained every day, Monday through Friday. I walked every day, Monday through Friday. And because of that, I lost 2.1 pounds this week. I'm down to 201. Because last week I was 203.5. So now I'm 201.4. I'm shocked. But um, yeah. Sis, it's just like sometimes like working out is important it's very important but nutrition is the most important so if sometimes you're not motivated to work out don't beat yourself up about it just as long as you're eating right and drinking your water and making sure that you're doing everything you need to do on that part then you know that motivation to work out will come come soon um but one thing i will say too is now especially since i lost weight and a lot of more um brands carry my size i'm a little bit more motivated to work out to get in these cute little sports bras and leggings like your girl ready for that like i'm ready to go and do it <laughs> so the next question is hey sis do you get treated differently after weight loss yes 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 me and baby was talking about this this morning it's like not in a bad way but I get the most attention I have ever gotten in my whole life. Like, that's one thing I will say is I've always been the girl to dress up, wear heels, do my makeup, have my hair done, have my nails done. You know, just like today's just a chill Saturday, so don't judge me. But y'all know when I slay, I can slay. Um, So I've always gotten attention, but now that attention hasn't increased. I used to could walk into a store, people would look at me and say, oh, your makeup is cute and keep moving. But now, like, People have full conversations with me. People run to open doors for me. People at work always want to talk to me now. Um, I do always have people asking me about diets and losing weight and stuff like that. And I be like, yeah, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just doing this on my own as well. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, yes, like, people do treat you differently in that sense, um, which is not a bad thing. It is what it is. Like, I just get more attention. But the negative part that I don't like is people watch me more now like before like I said I used to could eat whatever I want whether I was on camera or you know at work or anything nobody would say a thing thing but now that I lost weight, it's like if somebody see me eat some chips and they don't see what kind of chips they is to see if they bake chips or you know or anything like that they're like oh my god be careful you don't want to get your weight back and I'm like sis don't don't come for me don't worry about what I eat you wasn't worried about what I was eating when I was at my biggest for you to tell me to lose a little weight so don't worry about it. And another thing, people be calling me skinny. Many at work, and I went off on this one night. I was like, listen, if you didn't call me fatty patty, don't call me skinny mini. <laughs> like, I had to say, and it's so crazy to say, but I'm like, when I was bigger, you could care less about what I did. But now, you watch my every move. Like, even when I wear pants. Ooh, those pants are too big. Or, ooh, that dress is too... And it's, like I said, it's okay for people to make those kind of comments you know i can't stop people from saying what they want to say but it just amazes me that now you watch my every move because i lost weight when before i was invisible you didn't even know who i was another question is what food if any is your weakness also does the apple cider vinegar cut out sugar cravings for you for one the apple cider vinegar is really good at just 
cutting your appetite period now i'm not saying you can drink apple cider vinegar and won't eat for a whole day but i'm saying it really does help curb your appetite so in the morning time i do my apple cider vinegar before work and that is the reason that i feel like i'm not starving before i eat at 10 you know what i'm saying or 11 whatever time i decide to eat um i wouldn't say that it curves sugar cravings but i feel like it helps you to make better choices because when you do eat you're not as hungry because a lot of times people run to stuff because that's what's available for them so if you're at work and you're starving and they have nothing but a vending machine with donuts then you're gonna go get the donuts but by doing the apple cider vinegar and it curbing your appetite then you just realize like oh i'm probably not hungry let me just have a glass of water you drink the water and realize that you're satisfied so yeah i wouldn't necessarily say it like craves sugar cravings but it does curb your appetite and she also said what food is your weakness chipotle girl chipotle is my weakness even though chipotle to me like on my diet plan chipotle is not bad i can eat chipotle when i want to um now i can't eat chipotle and my other meals but i will substitute a meal for chipotle you know stuff like that um chipotle is my weakness and it used to be fried chicken but i've gotten away from that like i don't have to have fried chicken anymore um but other than chipotle i think that's it that and oreo coffee now the oreo coffee on sundays your girl got to have it yes i still drink my oreo coffee that i promoted so many times oreo if you watch and sponsor me i'm just joking <laughs> um yes i still do my oreo coffee so but again since i know that that is readily available for me i can buy whenever i want and all that stuff i don't mess up my monday through saturday thing by drinking it because i know on sunday i drink as much as i want <laughs> So the last question is from one of my newer subscribers. So I'm just going to read what she said and then I'm going to reply. And it's going to be kind of repetitive for you guys who's been here for a while. But since she's new, I want to give her the same respect and reply. So she said, I was Googling how to lose 20 pounds fast and I saw your video. Good looking now, sis. Um, I was the one, I think that you were talking about the apple cider vinegar. Well, I started following up on here. She said, long story short, I just wanted to know how did you start? And um, how I started was just pretty much realizing that I didn't want to be that big I was unhappy the way I was and I needed to make a change so I started making little bitty changes so instead of me eating 3,000 calories a day I went down to 2,000 calories a day and then I cut it down to 1,800 calories a day and then I cut it down to 1,500 so I just kind of winged myself down and I don't know if I've ever shared that point with everybody but I do tell you guys all the time it's the little changes that add up to big results so remember that you don't have to come out the gate eating right working out drinking water doing apple cider vinegar every day no but you've never done apple cider vinegar before so even if you do it once a week to start until you get used to it like little changes add up to big results what methods did you start with first and i said that in the beginning part of the video with the apple cider vinegar and the intermediate fasting intermediate fasting really helped a lot too and she said i can go on and on thanks for allowing us to be in your weight loss business and that's what i do it for because y'all i hesitated so long on if i wanted to share this with you guys for the simple fact that i was like i don't want them to know that i'm on another diet but i knew this time was for real and i knew that when people just saw it, if it if you could just stay dedicated to something that it would really work for you then i know that i could be a motivation to some people so i'm so glad that i was able to share this journey with you y'all don't see me ugly cry on this whole video those are just tears of joy though sis like i'm so happy i'm so proud of myself i'ma keep going and that um, brings me into my next thing which is pretty much where i'm going from here so where i'm going from here is in four pounds your girl will have lost 100 pounds um so i will be 197.4 and then after that i'm going to continue this journey uh, me and my doctor discussed getting down to 180 and then kind of going from there she said with my height i'm 5'4 i'm supposed to be between 145 and 155 i told her i don't know if i'll ever be that small but i can't doubt myself um so we settled on 180 so i'm going to get to 180 see how i feel see how my body is looking and if i want to go down from there then we'll talk about it but for right now my next goal after my 100 pound weight loss is to get to 180 pounds um again i do want to work out more but now i'm more into strength training less cardio because i really need to get this stomach together it's not that bad like i'm just being super dramatic 
thick like it's not that that bad but i'm just saying like your girl want a little bit flatter stomach <laughs> also i just want to be in a size 10 12 that's it like i'm so close to seeing that it makes me nervous um but yes those are the goals that i have i'm going to continue doing everything that i'm doing with intermediate fasting and eating right and drinking my water and adding more workout i'm actually going to start doing pre-workout because i need that energy especially when i get off of work to go hard so i am going to incorporate pre-workout into my um diet but for the most part y'all your girl is 96 pounds down and i am excited about it and i hope you are too so guys if you are on a weight loss journey you can do it we got this sis trust the process one day at a time y'all know those are my hashtags on instagram like this video <laughs> those are my hashtags and i don't just hashtag that just to be you know so somebody can find my picture no i hashtag that because that is my daily mantra that is what i live by that is what i want you guys to live by that we have to take this one day at a time and trust this process and know that if you do what you're supposed to do every single day results will come Thank you guys so much for watching, for rocking with me, for the motivation, for inspiring me, for saying I'm inspiring you, for saying I motivate you. Like we in this together. I know I don't share every single piece of my journey and I do that just for sanity purposes, but the bulk of this journey I have shared with you guys and I really appreciate the love and support and I'm gonna continue to share with you guys because the next goal is Wonderland and then the next goal after that, we're gonna be 180. I'm so excited. But anywho, if you are new and this was your first video watching my weight loss and you want to know what I eat, how I eat, how to drink a gallon of water, how to survive a water fast, all that stuff, look in the description box to check out those videos and let me know what you think. Also, if you're not subscribed, you better go ahead and subscribe because vlogs are coming at you. Me and baby's birthday is coming up. Our three year anniversary is coming up. Yes, we're still celebrating that. And I got some more fun videos for you guys that I'm going to do. So you want to make sure that you are subscribed and that your notification bell is on to be notified when I post. And I promise I won't cry in no more videos. <laughs> Can't promise. But I will see you guys later.